here we are, we're looking at Tractor Pro, which is built into three sections. You've got your header section up here. You used to have a lot of panel options here. Now it's pretty much fixed. And you've got your two decks with a mixer in between. If we switch to a four deck mode, you'll see we've got the four decks just like you did in Tractor 3. And then if we switch to the browsing section, you're gonna see a similar look to Tractor 3, except now you have the ability to sort through um, and see part of the cover art in the track list itself. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna notice is the effects section. What we're looking at here is an easy version of one of the effects slots. What that means is you can load three effects into one slot. Here you see I've got a gator selected, a flanger, and a reverb. And I can mix each of these effects in using these three knobs. Then I have a single knob which affects the overall dry wet of those three effects combined. Over here you can see I've got that effects uh, slot turned on for deck A. So what this basically means is that I can assign both effect slot 1 here and effect slot 2 here to the same deck. All the loop and cue point controls have been condensed into this section here. You've got a single row of loop controls which allows you to directly select uh, the loop, loop length you want. Underneath that you've got your uh, cue point controls where you can directly map a cue point and, uh, and store it as well. Cue point behavior in Tractor Pro is a little different. Basically you've got uh, two things. One here you've got a bucket of cues. You can save up to 24 cue points in that bucket. Bucket. And then you've got eight uh, cue point slots, which you can map your uh, cue points from your bucket to these eight slots and directly access those via these buttons or via hotkeys or using a MIDI controller. The browser section has a cool new feature where you can see the cover art of your songs. I only wish I had more cover art to show you. If you wanted, you could even increase the height of your list here so you can see even more of the cover and really search by look rather than name. If you'd like more information on the software, visit djtechtools.com and read the full post on Tractor Pro where we give you more details and information about this exciting new uh, software release. You can also join in the discussion and see what other people have to say about Tractor Pro and Tractor Pro Scratch.